There's a Minecraft server that has changed my life more than anything else in the world. Today we're going to talk about the good times, the terrible times, but why the dream SMP means so much to me. My name is Tommy and this <laughs> is a tribute. I heard this entire script. Basically, after me and Tom finished climbing, I heard this entire script. Like, he was sat on a wall outside a mini garage and I was just stood on a bollard and I heard this script and it's so good. It's so good. Tribute to dream SMP. loved Minecraft SMPs. I've tried to enjoy single player so many times, but I just get bored. Even six years ago, when I was 12, back on my Xbox 360, I'd never play Minecraft by myself. My friends would be on my world where I'd make them go through hell. Because in my eyes, that's what Minecraft is about. That simple conflict that comes with having more diamonds than your friend. The rules you can break if someone's pissed you off. Look, I've never been a good builder or very creative. Every house I make is the exact same. But knowing that I can work with other people on the server to Shadow not experience. big <laughs> Did you see that? It lives I've on being a good builder or very creative. Every house I make is the exact same. But knowing that Shadow not big on the server to make the experience better, that's what I love about Minecraft. It's social. It's a real place. So when Top I found Hypixel, that changed everything. Hypixel there. was more than an SMP. It was a mega server. It had hierarchy, ranks, lobbies you can make friends in, it's competitive me. games you can make enemies in. This server was my foray into the Minecraft community. I discovered the big dogs, the people I wanted to be like someday, and that glorious crimson rank I could only dream of having. <laughs> I don't know if anyone got that reference. You know when he goes, glorious crimson rank? That is from a very old Tommy in it video. Which was, oh god, it is a reference to, there was a video where it was like, how to get YouTube ranked, like a tutorial style one he made. I think it was like, the 8th vid video that was released. I don't remember, but that was a reference to that. And I don't even know if it's still up, but it's very cool. I needed 30,000 subscribers to get YouTube rank on Hypixel. And from then on, that was my only goal in life. I played on Hypixel for years, and I loved every second of it. Grinding, streaming, meeting new people, getting closer and closer. <gasps> me! It's me! It's me! Oh, Victor joined the game! Did you see that? I played on Hypixel for me. years, and I loved I used every to be me. second of it. Grinding, streaming, meeting new people, ah! getting closer and closer to one day being one of the big dogs. This was the dream, and slowly, it was coming true. I remember the 100k live stream. Ah, it was on the Skyboard then, Block Island. Hypixel, I found SMP Live. SMP Live was nothing like <laughs> Hypixel. It wasn't about competitiveness or mini games. It was a vanilla, stripped down Minecraft server. And oh, man. Comedy. I've never Who's seen anything Orphic like it. Tubbo? Through the server, I found my three favorite YouTubers, but none stood out more than Jay Schlatt. I would watch him for hours on end. <laughs> the timing of his jokes, the bombastic personality, just how effortlessly funny he was. I wanted to be just like him. I wanted to join SMP Live so bad that I made a video. I remember this ago video! About it. Don't, don't, don't watch it. It's not good. Almost a year after I made that video, I got invited to SMP Earth. SMP Earth was Wilbur Sir, one of my Jesus other favorite Christ, YouTubers. Jesus Christ, I looked so young. I looked so young. I can't believe he included like that him. clip. I, wanted to join I can't SMP believe he included so that clip. I, I, video I looked so ago, young. Look! Look! Look, look, bro! Why? 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 I was like 14, man! I was like 14! Why? Why? The bulk up! The bulk up! The bulk oh, oh. To be fair, not much has changed. Don't, don't, don't watch it. It's not good. Almost a year after I made that video, <laughs> quite a I got invited video, to, be fair. to SMP Earth. SMP Earth was Wilbur Sir. Does he tell the story of how he joined SMP Earth? Because that is the funniest thing ever. Of my other favorite YouTubers' newest project. As SMP Live was coming to a close, Wilbur wanted another space for creators to come together, and this was it. A huge I was on SMP Earth. Anyone remember that? Me? I was on SMP Earth. Anyone remember? Quabby remembers. I think that's when Quabby first became the VODs channel manager on SMP Earth days. In Earth with mod. Wait, 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 go back to that map. You guys were. Wait, wait, wait. Close. Yeah, Wilbur wanted Tubbo. another space Is for creators to come Tubbo's together, nickname? and this was it. A huge look. So my my like mega project I made was here in this spot of ocean here on SMP Earth, and it was an island, an artificial island entirely made of concrete, and it was there. And I, how I got to it is that there was the 
bridge that Wilbur built, built from here to here, I think. From here to here, crossed here. And then I would, so, because my original house used to be on Iceland. But in order to get to here, I'd be like, right, cross the bridge. And then till you get to the corner of Africa and then turn. And that's how I'd get to my base. Huge map replicating Earth one of with my modern favorite plane. streams was the one you and Quig did together on SMP Earth. <laughs> that was fucking The good funny. old days, lol. <laughs> a live updating map and techno blade? I had to get it. It was so this good. was my chance. <laughs> and I did. I barely <laughs> made it into that <laughs> server. Russia. Joining five minutes before... Wait, was that Blockworth? Did he have Blockworth in his Minecraft five server list? Whoa. Wait. This was my chance. <laughs> And I did. I barely. Blockworth! Anyone remember Blockworth? No? That's an old reference. Oh god, Tubbo.live development. Oh god. Tubnet's been in development that long, boys. That's long. SMP of Tubnet was still. Oh, <laughs> Tubnet's been going for a long fucking time. A long fucking time. <laughs> Sorry. He made it into that server, joining five minutes before the invites closed because I begged my friend who was in it. But that server made <laughs> all the difference to my life. Now, every day I was streaming SMP Earth. The second I got home from Aww. school, I really should have been studying for my exams. But streaming YouTube came first. I was <laughs> definitely being irresponsible. But through the server, I learned so it's much about YouTube. Met so many cool people. It was great. But just as abruptly as it started, <sighs> SMP Earth came to an end. And looking back, SMP Earth didn't have the same spark. SMP Live did. People had done servers before, and the existence I don't of them know. I think was it was pretty tiring. fucking awesome. They all started to feel the same. The problem wasn't the people, or Minecraft. It was just the timing. The age of SMPs was coming to a close, and I'd miss the boat. Even though I discovered so much about YouTube and, and streaming, I'd it, never man. be among the big that. dogs. The, the mine coin scam. Out. I couldn't help thinking, every day while I was at school, what if I'd have worked a little bit harder, or been less cringy, or born a few years earlier? Would I have been an SMP live? Would I have been one of the big YouTubers? Knowing I might not ever be able to be one of the big dogs, well I guess it got me down. But as the pandemic begun and all my exams were cancelled, I knew I had one last chance to really make this work. Yes, the age of SMPs was over, but maybe I could still find something. Anything! Anything? And Anything? Then, I met Dream. <laughs> now, we didn't really click at first. He actually uh, ignored my first message. Dream was a new YouTuber in the Minecraft space. He'd figured out that people resonate most with the super simple, basic content. You didn't need a high budget. You didn't need lots of editing. You just needed some friends and a cool idea. He started making Minecraft Aww. Minecraft videos. The premise being some friends chase him around a Minecraft world while it's people awesome, off in the same dude. place. Even it's though it was dude easy who to is follow, awesome. it felt super grand. Like you were watching a movie, but also just some friends dicking around. Although it was exciting, it didn't give Dream a lot of space to be himself. So much of the videos were focused on the Minecraft that it's personality didn't shine through. So to combat this, on April 24th, 2020, Dream started streaming on a new Minecraft world with two of his friends. Now, this server wasn't anything special. Aww. In fact, it was boring. Dream's reluctance to add any mods to keep the server vanilla made for very slow, talkative streams. Even though Dream and his pals were having fun, the server it's definitely cool. didn't stand out. But then a big change happened. <laughs> I asked to join. Dream, without hesitation, said no. I'd be too chaotic, I'd ruin the relaxed vibe, and quite frankly, I didn't know anyone on there well enough. But I after mulling it over for a few weeks, I think Dream realized that's what the server needed. It needed unpredictability. Oh. It needed chaos. Oh. On the 4th of July, 2020, Dream nervously invited me to join his world. I joined on the 5th! Oh, I was the day back! I was the day after! Oh, that's... It's cool. Five minutes on the server, I'd kill George. Ten minutes on the server, I'd start a war. Twenty minutes on the server, I'd been banned. But Dream didn't keep me banned. Oh, no, no. Much to everyone's surprise, Dream liked this element of chaos. So <laughs> he started adding some of my friends. We played Woo! the server every day for weeks. Me and Turbo logging on every night to tell jokes and piss people off. And viewers were going up too. I'd never had more than a few thousand people watching me at once. I know, dude. This was such an insane... I remember... I remember having, like... A thousand viewers when I first joined the server, and it blew my fucking mind and freaked me out. And I'm like, ah! Oh, that's cool.
facts, but now me and everyone else were starting to hit five, six, sometimes 8,000 views. I remember hitting 8,000 viewers for the first time. I don't know why 8,000 viewers is such a significant number, but it is, dude. I think also 3,000 viewers was a significant number because it was 10% of how many viewers Shroud had at the time, and that was fucking badass. <laughs> It was surreal. During these early days of just pissing people off, I found the most important item I'd ever find. Music discs. It wasn't some insane sword or music overpowered discs. bow. No, it was music discs. Yeah. My music discs. These discs became so genuinely important to me. One of the first things me and Turbo did together on the server was listen to the discs. It was such a real, sweet moment. Each time I played those discs, I felt weirdly like I was able to take in to understand the experience I was having. I know that's crazy, but I, I mean it. Those quiet moments that really contrasted such loud, energy-filled streams the fucking discs, Pepe Mox. Knowing all of this, <laughs> Dream did the unthinkable. He stole both of my discs. He fucked up. Before I knew it, me and Turbo were head to head against him. Oh, and Dream, by the way, it's worth mentioning, is one of the greatest Minecraft players of all time. We ended up night after night brawling it out. In to be fair, we did all right. Genuinely difficult Minecraft PvP. And holy shit, did you just see that block clutch? This server <laughs> that, was amazing. Was that, amazing. That, that clip right there is actually, that is in. So there's a video on Tom channel called dream is a psychopath and at the start there's like a compilation of clips from the video and that block clutch there is one of them and it's the coolest intro on any one of the videos it's so sick the combat i'd loved on hypixel and the chaos i'd love from smp live it was authentic oh it's natural. so cool it's so sweet quite frankly you couldn't script this until we did <laughs> Thank you so much for the five gifted me note, I appreciate it. Uh, but one of my good friends, Wilbur, joined. He'd seen me dicking around, and although he was quite frankly unimpressed, he saw the potential the server had to offer. There was no fixation on views Bonk. or even quality. Bonk. It was just a Minecraft world full of nerds that are way too committed to this video game. <laughs> on the 24th of July, 2020, I got this DM on Discord. You're allowed to tell me we're gonna sell drugs. Yep. Okay. This is when <laughs> shit hit the fan! A drug cartel, it... Well, it didn't go to plan. Me and Wilbur were <laughs> in my fan map not even 20 minutes into the stream, and genuinely... It was a mess. That's when we realized we didn't have to be in the Dream SMP. What if we made our own, our own SMP where we could sell drugs, where Sapnap and Dream had no way of stopping us? We created a place that embodied all our ideals of freedom, Lamanberg. We built walls, <laughs> recruited troops, and even had babies. <laughs> what? This is a nation. And even had babies? 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 Dream didn't like this one bit. He hated oh, that we defied so his authority. Cool. He really fell into the role of the fucking evil antagonist. And a few <laughs> nights later, Dream began My to house! Our new home. No! <laughs> aggressive mess. My house! I want to see white flags! White flags outside, outside your face! By tomorrow! At, at dawn! Or you are dead! dead. It was genuinely nerve-wracking. These next few days were the most on the edge of my seat I've ever been while playing a video game. I even woke up early each morning to plan secret tunnels under yeah, a Minecraft Yeah, I did that as well. I was taking this serious. I think everyone did. And although did. it was just Minecraft, it was now the most important thing in my life that Dream wouldn't take the Manberg. We were a well put together nation, all on the same this page. Is so and there cool. was no chance Dream could take us down from oh. any angle. Certainly I've not heard the, the inside. script, but I haven't seen the graphic so oh. <laughs> Down with the revolution, Gym boys. boys. It was what? never meant to be. It was never meant to be. <sighs> so we got betrayed by one of our own. I mean, our new dream was now evil, but convincing a member of our nation to destroy us from within, he was a psychopath. And even worse, in order to save Lamanberg, I had to give up my discs to Dream. Since that's the only thing he wanted more than Lamanberg. I was heartbroken, distraught, but most of all, I was angry. Dream would have to pay. You bastard. We then trusted the few you. Months went by, and the server sort of changed. It stopped being about these great, fully improvised lore streams and had a, a more scripted feel. Before each major stream, Wilbur would write up a really complicated treatment that let us know the plot points we had to hit. Otherwise, the stream would have been a failure. It was a lot of pressure. The thing is, though, 
This change wasn't bad. It made the server even cooler. I remember running home from college, booting up my OBS, <laughs> skimming through whatever Wilbur had wrote for us today, <laughs> and just going live. That simplicity, that wonder of what will happen next was so exciting. Yes, the streams were scripted. Yes, there was more pressure, but things still went wrong. We still improvised, <laughs> made shit up. The spark was still there, and planning out the streams more only added to it. Hundreds of thousands of people were tuning in. Viewers ramping up to crazy amounts. Yep, the momentum that sounds about right. didn't <laughs> stop there. The server kept ramping up in popularity now, meaning there were constantly more expectations, more demand, and a whole lot more of you lot. I won't lie, <laughs> I was beginning to get seriously overwhelmed. The expectations began to pile up on me. The streams got planned out to a now stressful degree of detail. And it was just Very a lot. Cool. It was getting too much. But in a brief moment of reflection, I realized how far I'd actually come. I was now playing Minecraft, making videos with my heroes, Wilbur Soot, Technoblade, and even Jayshlat. Oh, let's pause. This, however cringy it might seem, is my genuine hero. You might already know this because this video is completely inspired by him, but Schlatt is my idol. In the early That's quarantine, cool. I'd spend every night watching all of his channels. I was in love with his content. I wanted to be just like him. Now, during the quarantine, Schlatt followed me back. Probably a mistake on his end, because I messaged him. A lot. A lot, lot! Some might say I was a little clingy, that I was a child. That they'd be right. Just as the Dream SMP was beginning to get huge, while I was live, Schlatt finally messaged me back and joined the server. This was the most surreal moment, I mean, probably of my entire life. That's this cool. Point. I was in quarantine, so I wasn't getting recognized. I'd only just started to understand the gravity of everything happening around me. But this moment made it all clear. My dream had came true. The feeling, the reality of walking next to him, doing jokes with him and Wilbur. I was included in my favorite YouTuber's friendship. It just... <sighs> I couldn't have asked for anything more. Seeing that Minecraft sunset with Schlatt, who inspired so much of what I do, that's all I needed. If it had all stopped then, in, in that moment, I would have been happy. But it was not slowing down. I now had a few million subscribers, and every day I went into college, I was getting more and more people coming up to me. I was not at all ready for what was happening. I tried to put that past me, because no matter the numbers or recognition, we're still just some people making up a story. And I knew my story needed to take a new direction. In the Dream SMP, you play a role. My character, Tommy, is a version of myself. However, as time had gone on, my character's rivalry with Dream had gone far out of hand. Dream's character had really messed with me. He trapped me in exile, made my friends turn on me, he tormented me with war time and time again. Given this had been happening for six straight months, my character was coming to the end of the line. But now, to match the real world expectations too, I knew what it was time for. It was time for a change. It was time for a finale. I spent a bit of time <laughs> writing out a few of my own arcs, but I knew for the finale it had to be different. This time I needed to go bigger. I needed to write a huge, standalone stream that would bring my character arc to a peak. And that was something only Wilbur had ever done. With almost no experience, I opened Google Docs and wrote out a plan for the Dream SMP finale. <laughs> you know, this whole server had started with me and Turbo fighting Oh, this is such a cool stream. Music discs. It's, it's such a thing. cool stream, Even man. Six months of complex law writing, I'd still never retrieve my discs. Now, these weren't just discs anymore. They were a symbol of victory, of closure. My character, and quite frankly me, relied quite a lot on the safety of those Minecraft items. Now it was the time for a final stand. Dream had given us a compass to the disc's final location, knowing me and Turbo weren't strong enough to take him down by ourselves. Immediately, we ventured out on one final voyage to get them back. Everyone on the server waved us goodbye, since they knew we were sailing straight into our deaths. Me and Turbo Aww. scaled them out, only to find Dream standing there with my discs and his netherite axe. It was a challenge ever so reminiscent of how the server first started. We knew what we had to do. An old-fashioned, back-to-basic, Minecraft Jewel. This stream, this brawl, was awesome. Dream started to fucking show off by playing the discs mid-fight, but I outplayed him! I got it back! I completely forgot about the story stuff, my inner Skywars player kicked in, and oh, I was still cool. hitting block clutches! That's cool. But despite all of this, Dream defeated us. He took back the discs from me one final time, and decided he was gonna take our last cannon lives too. Me and Tobo would be gone, and I never win. That is where my story ends. Sorry, Dream. You should have paid me more. But I can't lie. I watched Avengers Endgame. Oh, 
about a week before writing, <laughs> so the whole server arrived to a portal, saving us at the very last minute. There was no plagiarism. It's 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 completely different plot. With only one canon life left, Dream begged for mercy, and because I'm a good guy, I gave it to him. Dream was put in prison forever, and me and Turbo had finally won, which left us right back where we started, on the bench, listening to my music discs. That night was truly amazing. The stream had over 650,000 people watching. Yeah, it was insane. At the insane. beginning of the SMP, only six months earlier, I was getting 2,000 viewers at uh, most. Twitch had never seen anything yeah, like Yeah, that was this. insane. The most someone had had was Ninja playing Fortnite with Drake, who, who literally tweeted out his stream, and I broke that record. I couldn't believe the amount of people that wanted to see the end of my story. I still can't yeah, believe that's it. Insane. I got awarded a world record for that stream. Yes, a Guinness world record <laughs> for a Twitch stream. But what? I was so amazed, shocked, and thankful for how Twitch started to treat me. Like, are you seeing this? And my life was turning around. Aww. You see, I was in my third lockdown now, and it was fucking rough. I wasn't allowed outside. I couldn't see my crush at the time, which was starting to go really well, and I was just miserable. But seeing how many people cared about the thing we were making, that changed my life. I had no confidence at the beginning of the SMP. I didn't like how I looked or how I sounded, but this SMP, you all taught me it was okay to just be me, that that's enough. The Dream SMP was a perfect storm of everything I could ever want, and it made me happier oh, than God. I could ever imagine. I've got that photo. That's such an insane but photo. around then, after that stream, I think, well, for me, the server gradually lost something. It lost what it first started with. That very sweet. This is a very sweet video, spark. man. I'd stop joining the server because I wanted to, or because I was excited to play. It just became routine. The server almost felt like a museum. The sheer level of expectation from the audience was so intimidating. I felt too nervous to destroy anything. I was worried about the backlash from blowing up someone's Minecraft base. This time was <laughs> stressful. And as viewers went up, I felt a constant pressure to live up to my last stream. When I saw that number drop, I knew I was doing something wrong. I didn't feel like I was ah! It made no sense to me that millions of people were watching me for just me. I refused to make any content by myself. I always had to have another person in the video because I wasn't sure of myself. Every decision I made, I ran by someone because in all honesty, I was scared. Scared that all of this, everything I'd worked for would disappear any second. The success of the server became its detriment. Everyone became busy Aww. and much more successful and we all started on Aww. different things. There wasn't enough time for the story anymore. Hell, I stopped caring too. I was vlogging, hanging with my new friends, and the server was left behind. Aww. I can't say I don't miss the simple days. Oh and god, I remember that transition. Or quality. It was just fun. No matter what, if I'd have had a shit, an anxious day, I was just starting college, so there were a lot of those. <laughs> or, or a great day. It'd always end by joining the server and just letting that weird story take me away. Spending time every night telling jokes with some of my closest friends in the world and the coolest people I've ever met. It meant everything to me. Sure, it was just a Minecraft server, but this was real. This is what mattered. And I think we all started to lose sight of that. Most of us stopped playing the server. Aww. We were done with it. Except one player who, despite everyone's lack of motivation, kept streaming, kept coming up with new story ideas and kept grinding. That was until about 13 months ago, because around that time, we found out the Technoblade had a cancer. The Techno's unwillingness to show any signs of being affected by it made all my worries vanish. We joked about the dumbest way to clickbait it. I, I mean, it didn't even feel real. It didn't feel real. Oh sevens, boys. As soon as I heard the news, the very first thing I did was log on to the SMP. When Tenoblade joined SMP Earth for the last time, he left one final chest in his base with a goodbye note. I just hoped he'd done the same. I searched the server for so long that day, looking for any note, any last thing I might have missed. In his base, the place as he went most, his last log on spot. But there was nothing. 
Even though I was certain there was no secret note he'd left, I kept searching. Until, finally, I sat down on the bench, watched the sunset, and listened to the discs. And then, I let it all out. Technoblade is the coolest fucking person I've ever known. I remember the morning he added me on Discord. I, I was oh, I remember to filming this video. Cold, hands shaking, but it didn't matter because I was actually meeting Technoblade, the king of the Minecraft community. And it was the biggest honor anyone could receive from being one of his biggest fans to one of his mates. It was such a pleasure to have been in his life. Every stream he joined, every video he was in, he lit up the entire room. And I'm forever grateful for the amount of time he'd give up just to come and make jokes with us. We were the gang, and he was, and always will be, my hero. This Minecraft server has taught me so much about who I am today, and continues to help me discover who I want to be. Even when we stopped playing as much, the community kept us going. They started a new Minecraft era. The incredible art posted every day by you guys. The animation helped me see, reflect, and take in this server. This experience. Thank you so much for making that. It means so much. I'm also so fucking proud of my friends. Being able to see each and every one of them grow, all of us in this boat together, it was the best. This whole experience is, can be super lonely, but because of my friends, it never, ever was. And I wouldn't have wished to spend it with anyone else. I've had so much fun on this server, and even though I thought it was for quite some time, it's definitely not finished. As time goes on, I, I think we're all realizing how fucking lucky we are to have been a part of this stupid miracle, and that I really shouldn't take this server for granted. Things are changing. We're all getting older. Oh, I mean, look at Phil. But, but, but just <laughs> knowing that for the rest of my life, there will always be this world. I can run around and remember and relive all the memories we made. That's so much more than enough. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's such a good video. It's such a good video. It's such a good video. It's so sweet. We want to join you, Fundy. We want to join. Oh, God. That was a juxtaposition. It's such a good video. It's so sweet, man.